Today we are working on the third lesson within lesson three of Word Expert, working with building blocks. So this is a document that you should have opened up. Step one says in the document select both the company logo and the web address line. So I'm going to click on that and drag my mouse over it so they're both selected. Click the insert tab. In the text group click quick parts. Over here is your text group. We're going to click quick parts. Click auto text. Hang on. And then click save selection. Auto text. Save selection to auto text gallery. And then we're going to type or select options as noted for the following fields. The name is going to be TA logo. The description is going to be letterhead item. Notice that that is not capitalized. Save in normal, which it already is. Insert content in its own paragraph. So click that down arrow. Insert content in its own paragraph. And then click OK. All right, mark that as answered. Step two. In the document, select the five lines for the Seattle office address. So we'll click our mouse and drag that to select it. On the insert tab in the text group, we're going to select quick parts, auto text, save selection to auto text gallery. Quick parts, auto text, save selection to auto text gallery. The name is going to be ADDR. Save in normal. Option insert content in its own paragraph. And then click OK. We didn't give it a description. Mark that as answered. Press Control A. Click in the document first. Control A selects everything. And then press delete. And we deleted everything. In the insert ta tab, in the table group, click a table of one row, two columns. One row, two columns. Click in the first cell of the table and type TA logo and press F3 when the screen tip appears with the TA logo text name. The logo and web address are inserted. So that's what we just did. So pretty cool, huh? Click in the second cell on the table. Then on the insert tab in the text group, Click Quick Parts, click Auto Text, and then click the ADDR entry in the general list. So it's right here. And that adds that. Click the table selector for the table. So we're going to click on the table. We're going to click right up here and that's going to select the whole table. I'm going to, on this box right here, I'm going to click this down arrow and I'm going to select no border. So our table no longer has a border. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to uncheck this view grid lines that we put on the last one. So this is what yours should look like. We have a table, but it has no borders. So it now looks like a letterhead. Mark that as answered. Step four. Insert document properties. Click file. Ensure the info tab is selected. Select info. Click properties and then advanced properties over here. We're going to click properties, advanced properties. 
Enter the following information in the summary tab and click OK when finished. Title will be meeting notice. Subject is staff retreat. Manager is Nick Klassen. Company Tolano Adventures. And click OK. Return to the document. Click the blank line below the table. Press enter and then type staff retreat. Click the references tab. Right up here we're going to click references. And in the footnotes group, click insert footnote. Right. Nope. Make sure you do insert footnote and not endnote. Footnote is right here. In the footnote area, we're going to type event scheduled by. And then press the space bar. Click the insert tab. In the text group, click quick parts. Go to document property and then click manager. And that put Nick Clausen in, the guy we just put will, words filling the information for you based on what we entered in our document property. So Nick Clausen or Clausen or however you say him is that guy. So mark that as answered. Go to number five, insert a quick part field. Click at the end of the staff retreat line. Press enter. Click the insert in the text group. Quick parts and then field. Quick parts and then field. Type F to display the first field that begins with this letter. In this instance, it's the file name field. In the field property se selection or section, click uppercase, then in the field option section click add path to file name, right here we're going to check that box, and then click OK. Word then inserts the full path and file name of the current document in uppercase letters, so we did that. Go to step six, create another auto text entry, select the newly inserted field change the font size to 8 change it to 8 on the insert tab in the text group quick parts auto text and then save selection I had to go back. I didn't. I had done something to where mine didn't. I didn't have it selected. But now it's, you see that it's selected, and the font size is eight. So now, insert quick parts, auto text. Oh, hang on. I don't have it selected. Oop. When you select it, you're going to see it's got a little lighter gray here. So now go to quick parts, auto text, save selection. To auto text gallery. Type or select options as noted for the following fields. Name is going to be FNP. Description will be file name and path. Save in normal options. Insert content only. Then click OK. Save the file as staff retreat memo in the my projects folder so click file 
save as go to my projects and we want it to say staff retreat memo and save it with that field still selected press F9 and that will update the field the field should now reflect the new path and file name and you can see that it does it now says staff retreat memo which we just changed it to so mark that as answered step seven insert a quick part in the document footer so delete the path and file name in the document so we're just gonna what we've got highlighted there we're gonna delete it on the insert tab in the header and footer group we're gonna click footer and then blank select the type here command type FNP then press F3 where it inserts the FNP quick part into the footer and includes the full path and file name if Word does not show the full path press F9 to update the code which mine does and you can see that it's in my Jasper Active My Projects with the correct name press backspace to remove the extra line from the footer and then click close header and footer so mark that as answered step 8 on the insert tab in the text group click quick parts so click insert quick parts and then building blocks organizer at the top of the list click the template column heading so click right up here on template notice that all quick parts are sorted first by the template in which they are stored built-in building blocks and then normal and then in alphabetical order by name so you can see that all right here built in so on and so forth and then normal and they're all alphabetized by the name over here scroll to the bottom of the list to see the auto text entries we created so here's all the things that we created right here these are stored in the normal template and you see right here they're in the normal drag the horizontal scroll bar to the right to see some of the other columns available for sorting in the building blocks organizer and then drag it back to the left so it's just showing you here by behavior description and so on and then drag it back to the left click the name column heading to sort items by name so we're going to click name right here everything sorted by name scroll in the list and select the TA logo TA logo and then click delete click yes and then close it and that deleted what we did so we'll mark that as answered and we've completed those so let's click submit submit results and I've got eight green check marks so we did all that right so if yours is the same as mine congratulations you made a hundred if you don't as usual you can go back and fix anything that you need to fix and this completes Lesson three, working with building blocks.